What is stone? A miserable little pile of secrets. In the previous video, we ended up on my theory that stone could be carbonatite. This hinged around the fact that it's an igneous rock in the game. I mean, we see it formed from lava, but you could interpret this in a different way. And while thinking about this, I realized that I missed a glaring piece of evidence that would change the entire interpretation. The evidence doesn't come from the stone block, but it comes from the Minecraft world itself. Before we get into it, the channel just passed 20k subs, so I'd like to say welcome to all the new people and thank you. So let's address the igneous rock part. An alternative is that the stone is not being produced from lava, but the water is evaporating and leaving behind the stone. The water block is the block that is being replaced. Uh, and this was brought up by several people in the comments. And I had originally mentioned this back in the stone and obsidian episode. Minerals dissolving in and precipitating from water are how we form caves in real life. And we have caves and cave formations in Minecraft. So we have precedent for this happening. If you have a hard water in your house, you're probably familiar with something called lime scale. If you haven't heard of hard water, it's a term for water that has a certain amount of minerals dissolved in it. It's very common if you get your water from aquifers that are in or pass through limestone. When the water evaporates, it leaves these minerals behind. These are called a precipitate. It's coming from the water. Sometimes you'll see a, like a white film in the bottom of a cup or you know, it will clog up your shower head with enough time. I have hard water where I live and I let some water evaporate in a cup here. You can see the material in the bottom. It's normally just called lime scale, but it's calcium carbonate, the main mineral that makes up limestone. This is a small amount of carbonate and it made me think how much dissolved carbonate can water hold and is there enough to make a one square meter block of stone? So to find that out, I had another stop on our trip so we're gonna consider, what if it's not igneous? And then we're gonna go out to a nice warm ocean. So not all rocks are the same. Limestone can have different densities. I have two core samples here that show that they're, they can have pores, which reduce the density, or they can be a very tight rock like this one. Limestone comes in many different varieties. Uh, here are a few different textural and color examples. Limestone has a density range of about uh, 1,760 to 2,560 kilograms per cubic meter. So that's just how much one Minecraft block of stone would weigh. Somewhere between those ranges is what common limestone is. So let's look at water. Seawater, if you take one meter of seawater and you let it all evaporate, you'll have about 6.63 kilograms of material left behind. In seawater, a lot of this is salt. There are rocks that are called evaporites that form from water evaporating. A modern example of that is a Great Salt Lake in Utah, for example. And ancient evaporite deposits are actually what I'm researching in Australia. I don't think the rest of the evidence points to Minecraft stone being an evaporite rock, but we're still going to use seawater as our our extreme end of what's possible. And I should say possible at like standard temperature and pressure on planet Earth. If we look at freshwater, the upper limit for dissolved calcium carbonate is about 0 0.375 kilograms per meter cubed. So considerably less than seawater. And I'm gonna mention that I'm considering water all to be the same block in Minecraft. There is no distinction between freshwater and seawater or anything and even though technically different biomes have these different colors so that there's some representation that these waters are different but there's nothing in game that actually points to what that what that actually is we don't know how salty seawater is or if uh, fresh water is necessarily fresh but or we can fill a cauldron with rain in minecraft and that should have almost nothing dissolved in it so you should have a pretty good range of things so we can take these maximum for dissolved minerals and the density range for limestone and see how much water we would need to make one Minecraft stone. Or we can see how much stone one block of water would make. So we'll look at seawater first. And with a low density stone, one cubic meter of water, or just one block is probably what I'm gonna say for the most of this, we'll make 
0.38% of one stone block. If it was a high density, then it would go down to about 0.26% of one stone block. If we wanted to make one cubic meter of stone, low density stone, then we would need 265 blocks of seawater or 386 blocks of seawater for the higher density stone. But this is the extreme end. Let's look at the more reasonable freshwater scenarios. One block of water will make about 0.021% of one stone block. Cute little guy there. But if for a high density stone, it goes down to 0.015%. This does change. You see it moving very tiny. And if we wanted to make one full block of stone, we would need 4,690 blocks of fresh water or 6,827 blocks of fresh water. And this is for fresh water that has a high amount of calcium carbonate in it. Not all water is like this. But this really doesn't dissuade me from the pursuing this theory more because we have lots of examples of generating infinite volumes of matter in Minecraft. You know, we have renewable water sources and we have bizarre time mechanics that, you know, things grow before our eyes all the time. Well, that's a weird one. Let's get a different one. Whoa. There we go. So we see, you know, trees grow up in like a fraction of a second, less than a second. It's in instantaneous. So who's to say that you're not evaporating a whole bunch of water like there? It's continually generating and evaporating that water until basically the stone fills that space or something. Now, with that, we can actually get to the new evidence and why we came out to this ocean in the first place. The Minecraft world has life in the ocean, specifically coral. Coral makes its body structure out of calcium carbonate. As it grows, the organic part dies and the mineral part remains. The new layers of coral grow on top of this. It keeps growing on top of itself and real limestone is largely the broken down bits of organisms. Here is a piece that's about 450 million years old, which preserves a lot of macroscopic fossils. They are mostly brachiopods and bryozoans here, but lots of marine organisms build their shells or support structures out of carbonate minerals. And most limestone is formed from the skeletons of the dead. And so I think the fact that Minecraft has oceans with life as we know it in there, and there is an absence of a rock called limestone in the world is impossible. I should say nearly impossible. I mean, unless the generation of coral is like a new thing on, on the world or something like that. But throughout history on Earth, there's almost always been something that generates its shell out of a carbonate style material, either aragonite or other minerals like that. That's return. And so until they add some new evidence to the game, I stand by both interpretations. It all depends on if you're on team igneous or team evaporation. And I'll, I'll say a couple things also for, for clarity. Just because we see stone being made by evaporation with lava now, and like when we make stone, that doesn't mean this is how all stone is formed in the world. You can have multiple different paths to the same rock. And uh, this goes for the uh, carbonatite as well. Just because it's only produced from one volcano right now doesn't mean that it's not common on other planets or that it has to be made by a volcano. You just have to have the right minerals and it has to come from a melt. And if those things are set up, you could have a whole planet made of carbonatite and it would be the most boring generic rock possible there. And I guess while I'm wrapping up things too, lots of people commented about the difference between like hardness and brittleness on the last video when talking about the obsidian and the granite breaking. Absolutely, 100% correct. Minecraft only has the hardness term, so I was just going with that. There is a lot that makes up the actual strength of a material. And an obsidian is hard, but brittle. It's not incredibly hard, 
but it is a hard, well, I can't even say it's a rock. Obsidian is not a mineral or a rock. It's a uh, amorphous solid. So obsidian is a, is a hard amorphous solid. But I'll get into that in some other episode, I guess. I thought your guys' comments in the last video were great, so thank you. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.